31 weeks pregnant. It feels a little bit panicked now. We have given our notice in here, we have to move out in seven weeks. Baby's gonna be here in nine weeks and we still haven't completed on the house we're supposed to move into. Not to worry for now, let's just enjoy our breakfast. Once again, waiting on Nicholas, who pronounced that he was ready to go. And 20 minutes later, he's now ready to go. You got the keys, babe? Yeah, I got the keys. You need the keys? Come on, babe, hurry up. I got a hot bum. First time we've used the heated seats, isn't it, babe? Oh, yeah. Do you have a hot bum too? Toasty. Toasty tush. I got a toasty tushy. Basic updates on the pregnancy. I'm feeling big, I'm feeling uncomfortable. My belly button stopped tearing, which is excellent. I've been putting lots of oil on it and I'm no longer wearing the jewel, but I am poking it through. Oh, sounds gross. Poking it through every couple of days just to make sure that the hole doesn't completely seal up because although I don't imagine I'll be able to wear my belly button piercing again in future, if I can, then I want to keep the hole open, you know? Nothing more to report, really. Everything's pretty much stayed the same, apart from I'm just getting tired and uncomfortable. Nick, however, has started experiencing some new symptoms on his part. Haven't you, darling? Oh, yeah. He woke up screaming in agony. I mean, that's a stretch. No, 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 no. You were screaming in agony, <laughs> made me jump out of bed, but shocked me. He was suffering with severe, the worst you've ever had in your life, mm. leg cramp. That is true. So it definitely is true that men do suffer with pregnancy symptoms. So right now we are heading to... I don't know, just go there. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to a home store because although we'd have no completion date for their new house, we um, are hoping it's gonna happen soon. It needs to happen soon. So we need to furnish it. We need some ideas about decoration. So we're doing what every adventurous couple does at the weekend, spending time in the shops. <laughs> First off and most important for the house is obviously the pet store. Guinea pigs. <laughs> Makes me so happy. I have to be honest, I don't consider yeah. a spider or a scorpion a very cuddly pet. Baby, that is amazing. Those things would grow to be like 10 meters long. You want a fish tank, don't you? I want a fish tank. Two fish in a tank. One turns to the other and says, how do you drive this thing? Oh, lol. So from cuddling animals to tiles, Cold, hard. Now we're doing couches and general furniture. Do you find that easy to get up? Yeah, very easy. Yeah, super. You look super cool doing it. <laughs> just got back from shopping and they always say you shouldn't shop hungry well I'm gonna up that and say you shouldn't shop in your third trimester and when you're slightly hungry this has been the most bizarre shopping trip I've ever been on coming home with things like poppadoms and mango chutney not planning on doing a curry just wanted poppadoms I bought some pickled gherkins some pickled onions which I haven't had pickled onions since I was a kid we used to have it on cocktail sticks with cheese. And what is actually an old favorite, these uh, pickled beetroots. I think there is something about pregnancy and pickle. Um, I haven't had the cravings up till now. Uh, babe, 
Do you fancy a pickled gherkin? No. Pickled onion? No. Pickled beetroot? No. All for me then. Mmm. <laughs> so good. So good. Morning. I'm stressed. Um, this week is quite a busy week and this is the last week that I'm going to be booking in work that takes me out into central London. I've got two big shoots booked in, one today on location in, in Lewisham and one on Wednesday at the YouTube space and that's a very long shoot from 10am till 8pm, maybe 9. Oh, and I don't know why but I just feel so anxious. I'm so much more susceptible to this at the moment and um, there's no reason for me to be stressed. I'm totally prepared, I'm packed, I'm ready. I still have 45 minutes before the taxi arrives. But, um, but yeah, I think I need to breathe. I need to stop working so hard. Um, and just kind of concentrate on work that is at home where I don't have to worry about travel or weather or other people. Uh, yeah, so I need to calm down. Ah. Morning. I got a pain in my bum. I started having a trapped nerve sensation in the middle of the night, like in my hip, or quite deep into the tailbone. And I woke up this morning and every time I put weight on my leg, I get a shooting pain. Normally if I get this, I go and see my osteopath, but I can't see an osteopath because I'm pregnant. So yeah, sitting down seems to make it worse, but I've got so much work to do. Oh, um, yesterday's shoot, by the way, went fine. I was stressed all the way until I arrived and once I got started, it was absolutely fine. It's always the way. I don't know why I get so stressed about these things. I do have another big shoot tomorrow. So I've got a lot of work to get done today and a lot of prep to do for tomorrow. And then after tomorrow, it's like a 10 hour shoot day. I am gonna try and take it easier because I'm, I'm struggling. Definitely need to start chilling out, apart from obviously moving house. So a few days ago, I noticed that my fingernails were curling at the ends, just about like three or four of them started to curl in. Now my fingernails sometimes do that, but like not all of them and not to this extent. So I Googled why, why did the ends of your fingernails curl? And um, it turns out it's an iron deficiency. I'm already without pregnancy anemic. And um, obviously I'm taking my supplements. So I'm taking the Pregnacare liquid supplements, which it contains iron. So I'm definitely getting enough iron for baby, but obviously um, baby must be taking a little more and taking more out of me, out of my supply. And so I'm trying to make a concerted effort to eat lots more spinach, like Popeye. Lots of lovely spinach. So just literally throwing it in everything. I had it in um, my carrot soup for lunch. I'm gonna have it tonight just with lots of like cauliflower. I hate cauliflower. Broccoli. <laughs> um, we had it last night as well, just kind of boiled down. It's interesting that normally I'm quite lazy when it comes to feeding myself if it's just me, but because Obviously I'm feeding two of us. I've actually been more conscientious about everything I'm eating. Uh, is that enough potatoes? <laughs> 